Hi all, I'm Owen from Scareballoon and um, today I'm going to do a quick tutorial in Photopea. So it's just a, an online free version of uh, Photoshop. It's not as good, it's not the same. Uh, Adobe software is amazing. But this is still good enough to do some jobs that we need to do. Uh, and one of the jobs we need to do today is we need to get um, a letter, the letter N, and we need to highlight just one part of that letter. So if we change the colour of the letter it will change the whole thing. And we're actually trying to talk about uh, the different parts that form up lettering and typefaces and so we want to just highlight that little part of the typeface so I'm going to go ahead and start a new project and uh, actually the width we need is probably for an uh, Instagram so I'll do that and we don't really need a template to start so I'll just press create um, and just to show you an example of what we mean going to put the letter N on the page. Um, we don't need the sans, we need a, uh, a serif font I think. Uh, it doesn't matter which one I choose for the tutorial but um, uh, that's a horrible one but we'll choose, uh, you know, Crimson Pro will do. And then uh, I'll just make it huge so we can see it. I'm going to make it huger I would say. There you go, that's good. Uh, and I'm just going to center it just so it's there. And what we want to do is uh, we want to highlight this cross section on the end here. Um, so the first thing we need to know is how can we do that without changing the whole letter color. So by the end of the tutorial, this is what you're going to have to uh, have learned how to do. So I'll create a new layer over here, and I'll rename it just so we know what it is. I will duplicate this layer and I'll turn off the first one and then I will rasterize this layer and now that I've rasterized it I should be able to select it there you go and then if I go over to here and what I want to do is fill um, where's the fill button okay. Um, so you see that I'm a Photoshop user, not a uh, Photopea user. Um, if I no, that's oh, this, is it? Yeah, paint bucket tool there. Okay, cool. So I've got red selected. So I'm going to just fill that and now what I'm going to do is deselect so it's control and D uh, which is handy because it's the same on Photoshop and now I'm going to um, I'm actually going to do you know what, I'm going to select it by clicking holding control and clicking on the actual image as part of the layer you can see it's got a dotted line around it and then I'm going to do a mask which is this one here oh, it's this one here right so now what you find with the mask so if I select the mask, you'll see that the colours have changed. And um, what you'll find is that um, black will hide things and white will show things. So if I just show you that, I'll make my... I'm using my square bracket key on my keyboard. So it's right next to enter. There's a curly bracket and square brackets. If I just keep hitting the right one, it gets bigger and smaller with the left one. So I make it bigger. And then I'm going to press X. And, and these are basically the colours. So I want black to rub out. So if I press X you'll switch these around and now you'll see that if I do this it will rub things out and if I press X again it goes to white and then I start painting it will draw it back in uh, so what I want to do is basically um, draw this stuff out uh, I want to be a bit more precise than that so I'm going to choose the pen tool I'm going to zoom in so I can work out how alt and scroll with the mouse wheel lets me zoom in I'm going to draw a line over to here and then over to here um, I may as well go down to here uh, and in fact probably to there and then back up to there so now I can I've selected just the crossbar in fact actually this probably is not part of the crossbar it's probably just that that I need so there you go and now I'm going to right click uh, sorry to, to, to move this Oh, I was holding control and dragging the uh, the dot 
Now if I right click and make selection, this particular section is selected and now if I press Ctrl and Shift and I, oh, the selection, make selection, well, I've made selection and pressed enter and now you can see the dotted line now I press Control shift and I and now what has happened which you may not be able to see let me scroll up so when I Control shift and I it inverts the selection so if I do Control shift and I again you can see I've selected the crossbar if I do Control shift and I it selects everything except the crossbar <coughs> so that is good because I can rub out the other bits I'm going to press B for brush and I make sure I'm on my black and I'm going to, there is not editable, go into the mask and I'm just going to do that, you can see I can draw over the middle bit and it doesn't do it because it's not selected it won't rub that bit out and now I have uh, that particular section um, I can press Control D to deselect and this particular section, you can see actually at the bottom I've done it more straight so uh, you could choose to tidy that up if you want, it's only a tutorial um, and now that I have that, I can actually probably remove this, uh, turn that one off, so I, the eye icon hides it, so I've hidden that now. And now I've got this cross section, and if I wanted to, I could click on this, and I could do a colour fill. So these are adjustment layers. <coughs> I'll change it to a blue and press OK. I'll create a, uh, I'll change it to a clipping mask. And I'll change the adjustment layer to blue. Press OK. And now you can see, not only have I um, I've highlighted the bit that I need, but simply by double clicking on the adjustment layer, I can now change it to green or any colour I want to really easily. So I could go away, show this to the client or to my boss or whoever. They would say, oh yeah, it's great, but can we have it in yellow? Well, now I can really easily just change that to yellow and there's no more maintenance involved at all. And that, my friends, is how you mask something, so you select only the certain part, uh, and I did that by duplicating, don't forget, so I never touched the original N, I kept that one behind it. Uh, so I masked something, uh, and then I selected the bit I needed, so that, um, that only that part was masked. I hid things by painting black on them to remove them from the mask, and then I used a colour fill adjustment layer to change the colour of it and I right clicked and made it a clipping mask so that it, if I if this is not a clipping mask it would affect every single layer which we don't want if it's a clipping mask it will be attached only to this layer below it and therefore I can change the colour of this crossbar only so there's quite a few techniques there but they are quite simple and they're very 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 quick and this is how you can become much better at um, just design work and just uh, ensuring that you can select and highlight certain parts of a letter in this case but it could be uh, a photograph, it could be someone's face that was green, it could be anything. So I hope that helps, thanks for listening. If you want more design tips please subscribe and don't forget to comment and let us know what you thought and anything else you'd like to hear about.